today we are going to discuss about playwright architectural why playwright is faster than selenium and what is the drawbacks of selenium and what was a selenium architecture and what is now playwright architecture right uh, let's discuss about discuss about this selenium comes up with you know it it, it automates uh, all the browsers you are aware right it works for uh, every browser that we have in the industry and um, it supports almost all browser i believe and like chrome firefox uh, safari everything it will be supported right uh, that is browser support i i would say no issues browser was able to support browser support is good right so but when it comes to selenium selenium uses uh, some protocol you know about protocols uh, if you ever aware of about protocols the communication protocols when i say communication protocols that means if i'm just bringing one browser here okay uh, if this is a browser so you're launching something right like example uh, you know, google.com or facebook.com i would say so you're launching something right facebook.com so that means this browser is communicating to facebook facebook.com server na? The, so the communication between the server of facebook and this browser which is called as a client is happened through one of the protocol generally the famous protocol is http protocol whatever we see here uh, uh, the communication that is happening happens through http protocol you can also see that in the network calls generally when you test it uh, your application also right generally uh, when you refresh this uh, i'm just refreshing it so i'm asking this to page to come back from the server again right what it happens is background this many http calls will happen uh, to server to get a you know whatever you are seeing in the screen is three aspects one is ui development has to be there that means the code has to come here and and the communication between the data uh, and the facebook and the uh, this browser has to be established that will uh, uh, also happens through http and https communication we call them as apis sometimes and the third one is whenever i launch something the images are showing here so the images need to be stored or cached or static files has to be stored in my local system right those all happens through one of the protocol called HTTP protocol. This is the HTTP protocol. Any questions so far? I'm just going deeper in the architecture so that you know we get to know what is happening here. Any questions so far uh, on communication uh, between the client and the server? So these are all HTTP protocols. Everything happens to one uh, HTTP protocol. What happens with the HTTP protocol is okay i i say like hey this is the url i'm sending with get i'm sending with some payload to you you know with this information i need a information back from you that is a response so this is a response that i got from facebook with whatever request that i made here okay this, this is also being used in api calls we talk about that more in detail when we talk about api testing right so this is how communication happens and established between uh, browser and uh, server when the communication happens right when the communication happens like you know whenever i hit this particular http url it goes and comes back and kills that's it the job of this thread is just, just that establish get the data kill there is no other i mean beyond that after we got preview or response this call will do nothing just it is done the the request is uh, response is i mean done means this thread is killed that is how http works that means whenever you ask something when you click on something in the web ui example uh, if i go here right i click on already have an account right so it is going through some network journey right that journey is recorded here if you see this is what happening in the background when you click on something right and no, you will get all these JS files. JS files means 
how this styling should work and all right this this happens through js files so you are getting the code of the particular javascript code here right so that also comes and the images will come you can you can see images also um, images See, these are the images uh, preview right yeah see these are this is what you see in the ui so these are all images also been downloaded from web only right this facebook and everything so this communication happening through http protocol http protocol see here it is https https or http is same http uh, yes means secured so again i'm saying http protocol happens that open a thread to get the information with this payload this is a questions that you ask and and when you got response this thread is killed okay got it so selenium uses that http protocol it is likely a you know http means request response based that means you make a request like you send an email i will send reply uh, you know but it happens in the milliseconds it won't take that much of time like human it is automated you can say that automated email whenever you send email if other person has any uh, you know automated email that it, uh, it will reply back right that's how it happens so request res get the response kill okay that is called http protocol any questions on this so yes Omar. so yes so through through http <laughs> Uh, hmm. It is calling Facebook, uh, and that is coming using API request, right? Yeah, see, HTT, API requests, API resources are hosted using HTTP protocol. So, yeah, you, you're right. What is API means? It's a communication between the uh, logical layer and the uh, front end layer again. But HTTP is an actual protocol which was came from long back. I mean, after HTTP protocol only, the web is came into the picture, right? So that communication happens to server. Now in APIs, the second sector is API. API means you are hosting something on top of some server, which can be accessed through anyone using some tokens. So it uses HTTP protocol. Okay, it's likely a, a, you can say in this way, right? Um, uh, you know, I'm sending. I have a, a email mechanism okay uh, which is which is likely a protocol i can send emails and you can get emails now on top of that you have uh, one of the email sector like gmail or hotmail right so that's that comes under the apis okay so it's platform it's a platform api is a platform on top yeah. of http okay so everything will be in javascript only uh, general in dev tools Oh, no, no, no. Dev tools means what do you mean by that JavaScript? I mean, in this you showed right the JavaScript code and it is called. No, I see. That's what right. I see to to work. Uh, how works in the web, right? Web works in three layers. One is UI layer. UI layer always work with uh, JavaScript, right? UI layer works with JavaScript. That means whatever you are seeing nicely and this text and all with nice it format. This HTML and... CSS, right? No, no, that's what uh, UI develop UI works with three layers. One is HTML, that is what DOM that you're talking about, and HTML again uh, uses JavaScript and CSS to uh, make it visualize right, very great. If you see class names, these are all you know generally uh, JavaScript classes, and CSS all be also being used to styling the styles, right? The styles that you see here. It's a, yes. I know this, this Facebook is the one style, right? Yes. So all these three combination, the UI development will happen. If you go to resources, na, you'll see all the code or the particular, you know, whatever it came from Facebook. This is a code. Yeah, you know, this is here HTML, right? Likely you'll have a, uh, this is a GIF. Uh, you'll have a, a JavaScript coding as well. These are styles, right? So, see, this is a actually repo of the particular Facebook in the UI development repo. Okay, they used React for this. You know, right? Facebook uses React. So, on top of JavaScript, they have a framework called React. They're using that framework. Okay, 
You got it? So yes, yes. UI development will happen using all these three that is HTML, CSS, JavaScripting. However, on top of JavaScripting, another nicely tools like uh, React or Angular is there. Okay? That is how UI deals with. However, the backend may or may not deal with JavaScripting or Node.js. Mostly, uh, most of the backend deals with Java, .NET, Python, right? Nowadays, Node.js as well, but not extensively used to Node.js, right? So that's how the UI technology is different. The backend technology is different. Okay, but uh, Facebook uses Java. Java. Okay, got it. So when it comes to communication between this, uh, whatever you are seeing, uh, Kumar, right? Sir. Yeah, please. Kumar, sir. Uh, again, this is a very interesting topic. Um, can you again put the same thing in the notepad? Uh, exactly. Generally, what are the technologies uh, UI team uses for front end and uh, uh, back end? Mm -hmm. Um, you and are, can you also help with that wording, right? React, Angular. So I am interested actually. What what is the Angular React? Uh, you know, this is not relevant to our playwright, but I am interested. Can you help here? No, I am just telling all this background so that you understand playwright yes. architecture. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes. So UI development happens through uh, HTML, okay, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, JavaScript or TypeScript nowadays. Okay. Uh, in, okay. in JS or TS again, okay, we have a web frameworks called uh, React, okay, React, mm. uh, um, Angular, okay, Vue JS. We we call maybe you are hearing all this in your uh, companies, but uh, you know these mm. are all frameworks on top of UI development. They use it, right? Uh, so next so, year, so can we consider like you know the selenium whatever we are using as a framework which directly using the java similarly no. react is a framework which actually having this javascript and typescript exactly exactly you're right and is it right like in application in an application only they might have either react or angular not both or they may have both also react no, generally, and generally generally they don't go for uh, they do both they both serves the same Okay. okay, there could be another tools like you know Next.js maybe used for another one, but generally mm -hmm. most of the application they don't use both. They will go with one only. Okay. okay, yeah, most of the nowadays Angular and React is are very popular, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, I heard that React, one, but I don't know what is it. So. Yeah, React was built by Facebook, and Angular was built mm -hmm. by uh, now is maintained by uh, Microsoft. Okay. Okay. Makes sense so far. Clear how the UI and backend is happening. Now backend will happens uh, in maybe backend, right? Backend means logical layer. We have three layers, right? One is you know UI, backend or server layer, mm -hmm. right? Or uh, DB layer, right? These are the three tier architecture. Then generally we deal with that. So whenever whatever you are seeing is a UI, that is a nicely visual layer to every client, right? We call browser is one of the client. So to, there could be a communication between UI and backend using APIs or HTTP protocols. Okay, and whatever that required for UI. UI need JavaScript file. Whenever they launch it, they they will give JavaScript files to UI so that UI will organize it very well. That is browser organize it very well and showcase to you. And whenever they click on some button, it is it is generally an HTTP or API call which which you know when i say example button right a login button i gave some details a login button what this ui will do is ui development well, developer will do is they will call a login api to facebook by providing this username and password generally people say feel that username and password are very secure right if i i can inter, uh, intercept using these tools and get the username password uh you know that data the data can be used in the api and send back to the server hey some other users send this username and password and you want to log in what is your response then backend will check that user details in the db but that means there is a connection between uh backend and db now okay not ui and db ui and db will generally 99.99 percent we don't give connection because it's very risky while journeying, while going a journey, right? So only backend and uh, DB will have with a secured connection. 
Okay. Uh, so backend will ask DB yep. and DB will return and backend will return to UI. That will happen in the milliseconds. If you see 5 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, 26 milliseconds. That is how HTTP protocol happens, right? Got it so far good with this technology? Yeah, same time, right? Can you also help like backend and server, right? Generally, what technologies they use? Is there any framework there also like React, Angular? Uh, no, MSSQL. Uh, yeah, I'll let me explain you that, right? Here it will go with like Java or .NET. .NET is again C sharp, right? .NET, .NET mm -hmm. is built on top of C sharp, by the way. Okay, and uh, uh, sometimes Python. Uh, you can also they can some of them use Ruby also. Okay, Ruby, uh, but you know it is very rare. Okay, mm -hmm. and MS SQL. Uh, uh, I could say Postgres, uh, MongoDB, and uh, you know, so many will be there. But coming to DB, uh, there are three things, right? Uh, like we talked about UI and server logic, like DB. Generally, whatever data that required or you know get from the DB, they will write ESPs, store procedures. Right. For example, I say, hey, I, when I click on the so and so and so module, I need to get all the list of records, uh, you know, which I'm eligible of. Right. That means DB need to connect to the multiple tables, is the relationship, and get the data. Right. That will be pulled out using SP stored procedures. Okay. So mm -hmm. that SP will handshake with this API when API asked. Right. This DB will trigger this SP and get the data and give it to API. API will give back to UI. That is how backend works in the technology. Okay. So far clear? Yes. Okay. Now coming to protocol. So pro HTTP protocol, what happens is whenever UI asks something, it sends to back to server. Server will ask something to DB and come back to UI. That means the journey is done. Whenever it came to UI, the connection will be lost. It won't make another. You know, this connection will never be alive uh, until you made it requested again. That means with the next request, it will establish an another connection instead of using the existing connection, like this, right? So this connection is happened with this HTTP, and once I got the data in the preview, it is lost. Now for this another connection, it made another connection instead of using the same connection, right? Uh, and you know once you got it it is also lapsed so the HTTP always works with request response connection done it won't allow until unless someone asks them to allow be alive uh, for this particular journey okay any questions so far that is HTTP protocol so selenium uses that protocol okay that means every code that you write will establish one HTTP call to browser and it converts whatever code that you have written, it converts that into JSON. It gives that JSON to browser. Browser says that I executed, then it come back to here and ends that connection. Everything runs through establishing HTTP connection. That's where you know it takes its own time right it, it need to be made connection it rep it respond it should respond it, it should lapse here okay got it what is selenium i will show you in the pictorial view as well but uh, so far are we good hey selenium using http protocol and what is http protocol we explained just now okay now there is another protocol called web socket Okay, WebSocket. What WebSocket does is uh, it established connection at the first and it communicates n number of times. That means establish the connection and it communicate communicates n number of times so many times right if it required it can communicate so many times and finally it kills when your entire 
code or test is done what this means right so here example if i have code you have written some code like driver dot driver dot find element uh, you know find element by dot xpath something you gave xpath and you said click and another statement like send keys right if this is selenium code no what selenium does is it established http connection for this with the browser and browser returns something right browser says i uh, it gives a browser and browser returns something and then it will kill that means this thread is done done likely for this state uh, again next statement it again establish another http connection again and it is to go to driver other is browser and it has to be done that is what selenium does right now when it comes to websocket right what it does is if you have same line of code i'm just copying it i know it's a, not a playwright but i will make it as a playwright playwright we call them as a page and we call all this as a locator okay and dot click only okay again dot fill okay website what it does is hey when you are start running npx playwright test run right what it does is establish the websocket connection establish the connection and no need to go for uh, every connection when I mean, this connection will establish that means that's it done so it will take the first line of code it says that hey browser click on this particular xpath then it will go to another xpath and say that fill the data and if you have thousands of lines of code it will execute all the lines of code and then kill it kill the connection that means end of your tear down then the connection will be killed this is the difference between http and websocket playwright uses websocket that's why it is very faster because only one time connection it has to make connection for every statement that you have right you have written but it works only one time connection and it talks this will be converted as json and give it to browser immediately blah 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 step by step like that and then finally it kills the connection when the test is done so that made playwright faster than selenium because of this protocol make sense got it or any confusions here so http protocol understood so it is sending the request getting the response and mm -hmm. i think each and every line it is doing the thread exactly uh, what is this again is, yeah it is establishing mm -hmm. the connection okay so uh, what, what example, do you mean by websocket establish the connection yeah uh, websocket is likely a, your phone call i'm talking to you now right i'm talking to you yeah and you're talking to me lively that means how faster we are responding right i'm asking i'm saying something you are asking some question i'm responding to it it is a mutual connection we connected to call as a connection when it will end the connection when i say drop off right uh, let's drop off from this call right then only it will be connection lost but mm -hmm. http will not be like that it will establish connection it will is like a sending email you send an email you will wait for a response and then again you reply it and it will uh, like a chat you can say there will not be live they every time you send one chat it's a uh, you will establish a connection and it uh, the text will be exchanged decrypted and exchanged to another person and you will get a response like double tick or something like that and then again when you again you want to send one more that is another http call that is again the connection will be made to the particular other person and you will get response like double click done this is how it goes so if you have thousand lines in selenium thousand times it made a connection it means it try to connection to server but websocket it will connect once once the test when the test started it connect once 
it will execute all the thousand lines it it will lapse the connection at the end of the test got it yeah did i confuse you um, maybe you no know, it is generally uh, when we are also trying to play right everybody is saying it is very faster when the question comes like how it is faster i still i am trying to googling and uh, i am no, not able to explain to someone how why it is faster that's all it's a, because uh, of the protocol mm -hmm. okay let's get this is using http protocol web socket protocol uh, okay so this is this is this selenium for example okay you write in any code mm -hmm. what happens is it converts that uh, particular statement if i say driver dot find element some x right it converts that as json one json wiring protocol and your users http protocol okay the the payload will be json and it sends to Gecko driver or drivers. These are the drivers in middle we have, right? We download it and we mm -hmm. use it now. And this will again go to HTTP over HTTP connection, go to actual browser that is launched. So you have a server in between, which is a Gecko driver or a driver, and that talks to your code using JSON. That JSON will be given to uh, actual browser. This is which is launched, okay? Which is launched. And this will execute it. This will send back the request, send that hey, I'm done with the execution of the particular JSON. Now give it back to your uh, code that is successful. Then what it will do? It will come to here. Browser will say that hey, this this is called you know we call them as server, <coughs> and it will give to Selenium library that okay, this statement is executed well. That means it will continue the next statement, uh, uh, you know, instead of stopping there if it is no error, right? So three layers of architecture it has to communicate so over HTTP. Again, I'm saying whenever HTTP connection established, it talks to sir, uh, driver, it talks to browser You're using HTTP means one line, one connection has to be, need to be established between this code and this server and the server to browser. Again, once it replies back, for the next statement again it need to connect to this driver that is connection has to be established mm -hmm. and send this json and this json will be sent connection established to browser change this json to the browser it executes the code okay. and it comes back as a response that means thousand lines thousand connection between these three okay mm -hmm. okay now uh, can we have a similar one for player yeah okay yeah, yeah. player right you have a test uh, and the web socket connection will be established when i say web socket one once it is that means if it is established once for the test it won't establish for every line of code it established once like a phone call like how we connected okay and it sends the commands to test will send the commands to direct play right play right will directly communicate to a browser engine so it is likely a response faster it is a two layer architecture. I mean, Playwright will be part of again uh, browser uh, engine itself. So it can easily communicate to browser engine using JSON wiring, JSON protocol only. But WebSocket is what? Connect, connect once and execute all your scripts and then end, end the connection. It is likely uh, to compare yourself, right? If I say, uh, if I call you and said hello and I will drop your call and uh, uh, if someone said uh, say that uh, you know Ramakrishna attend to call tomorrow, then I will call you back and say uh, Ramakrishna cannot to call tomorrow, and I will cut it down. Right? That is Selenium. That means two calls are happened to you and me to connect between you and me. But when I when I when someone says that hey ask Ramakrishna to call you and say that uh, next week entire five days we have a uh, class from 8:30 to 9:30. And then I understood everything and now I call you and I communicated everything and you give some inputs to me and I will give you back to Srinu Technologies and I will drop the call. Right? That is what WebSocket. Got it. So so for that, like for example, HTTP connections, right? Where we can see on the page, right? Yeah. We can say that hey, this is what the HTTP request. How can yeah, I see? Yeah. I Means can you give an example of WebSocket? How it looks like actually? See, uh, some connection means, happened as a WebSocket. Okay, WebSocket. Uh, see, WebSocket. You generally uh, browser 
browser connections will not be uh, made with his uh, web socket internal connection for mm -hmm. example uh, mm -hmm. your okay. your db connections may be web, web socket right sometimes but that, that is also http call nowadays but uh, that can be his web socket uh, you know it is uh, generally web socket uh, will go with ws colon slash slash or wss colon slash which we cannot see in the browser because uh, browser doesn't make a web socket call it's not secured the, you know because the connection will be live right you can do anything the security reasons we don't admit http call is very secure than a web socket by the way web socket is for faster uh, communication but uh, http calls are secure con communication so web socket also use the same protocol like request response but using wss connection not http connection okay got it yeah yeah so web socket uh, majorly you know it is server to server i can say uh, you cannot see mostly you cannot see in browser communication web socket calls are happening if it is happening it will come as wss not https okay wss connections mm -hmm. so likely https it, it will go with wss mm -hmm. instead of http okay. ws yeah. web socket so that is a difference right like i said phone call is the best example that is a difference between uh, selenium and playwright in terms of technology not talking about uh, only this is a different that's why people are migrating this is one of the greatest uh, uh, see we need to make it faster tell me tell me this right if i make you 100 calls to tell you every every word of my communication sometimes my call may connected sometimes my call may connected but it is having a disturbance to you sometimes the connection may not be live until i want to tell something right that means there is a glitch there is a uh, 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 error error can occur here right that is what happens when you uh, flakiness that we talk about flakiness na? so when you have every every code every code line of code is establishing one connection it may or may not establish connection that will fail sometimes right that is called flakiness we call them as right uh, sometimes you say browser is stale that means browser lost its dom that is easy it is saying that i have some dom now but uh, now your dom is changed i cannot communicate with you it is called uh, you will see some errors called stale errors right stale element errors right this is happening because of this connection problems right so there is a high chance if you want to make connection of every line of code there is a high chance of flakiness where a web socket is a one-time connection it talks like what we are talking now right unless until there is a uh, network issues it talks very frequently very quietly and uh, that is where flakiness is reduced here reduce means 99 percent reduced not even just half percent right that is one of the major advantage of using this websocket com https protocols make sense any questions on this yeah can we touch base about this uh flakiness because these are the two nice things to say anybody um protocols usage and uh, flakiness again one more time can you touch base uh, what is that flakiness disadvantage in uh, selenium and advantage in playwright mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what, right? Uh, if if Srinu Technology said that, hey, uh, Kumar, communicate with Ramakrishna and say him that uh, we have class on Monday, we have class on Tuesday, we have class on Thursday. Three three lines. Now, what I do is, I will call you first time and say that we have class on Monday. I will drop the call. Now, second time when I'm trying to call you, the network may or may not connect to you because of some issues right network issues so if 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 the network is not established it'll retry if a network is not established after two two three retries the test will fail then i cannot communicate to you right right that is one area of connection lost and the second thing is when i when i talk to you you change your uh, uh voice now example instead of voice i can say maybe uh, you changed your volume or tone example okay 
now i say that uh, hey whatever volume recognition that i have is not matching with you now i will will i will drop it right so because the dom the dom is memorized by when i say dom right uh, hope you are aware of the dom dom is this uh, ist uh, this is the dom we we'll call this another html file is there now this is called the dom okay document object management okay in the javascript language so this dom is been captured by selenium and it will keep it there if this dom and the communication dom is not matching sometimes it will say that stale error stale element error hey i cannot communicate with you anymore uh, i got a stale element error i will stopping your test case i'm uh, lapsing your browser right you, you may see this kind of errors in the selenium because there's a drop in connection or change in dom then at that time generally what happens is we'll handle that errors and we'll rebuild the dom by just calling driver dot build the dom something like there is a command to do that right and if if i want to communicate five points to you i'm making five calls and making this happen there is a high chance sometimes 80% the communication may be good but 20% there is a chance to drop the call or maybe my communication is not understand to you maybe my my words are not clearly reached to you right because of, because of some connection problems this is http okay flakiness comes here right flakiness uh, especially comes whenever every code or every line of your code if you have 2000 lines of code in your automation 2000 connection has to be established to your server that is browser and your code which sometimes if one one connection is made wrong or dropped your test will fail flakiness will come however web socket is not like that make one time connection like a phone call you talk what uh, whatever time that you want until the tests are done all the statement 2000 statements are executed then labs the connection that means there there is a uh, no connection problem here right to communicate between the browser and the code that is major thing actually so there were definitely flakiness will be less make sense yeah makes sense yeah yeah, yeah. so this is what uh, difference see this is what the web socket and the http <clears throat> as i said client and web I mean, both both are same web socket means one time connection uh, and it requests res handshake response i mean handshake will respond and then it will it won't drop the connection if you see here http connection request will be made response will get it and connection terminated for every line of code the connection will be terminated established request respond terminate these three four will execute for every call but for this establish request handshake request handshake request handshake finally after all done terminate the connection the best example is uh, the phone call communication is a web socket and the email communication is http call or chat communication which which cannot which may be delay sometimes because of the network connections okay make sense now we are good with uh, what is uh, you know architectural difference between selenium and playwright try to digest this i know uh, this is something you know and not comes in one day right uh, try try to digest this and you know try to google it and you can ask uh, uh, GPT as well and come up your questions we'll cover this again maybe we'll take one more session on the friday you know saturday or sunday we'll cover more about this architectural part i'm i'm more interested in architecture by the way Sure, and it, it is always nice when you are trying to explain the concept, the difference between Selenium and Playwright, Selenium and Playwright. Um, that's where it will be easy, also, Kumar sir. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do that. We'll continue whenever we are yeah, doing. Sure. We'll, we'll continue on this part. Yeah. Uh, that's where you yeah. see the speedness because of this HTTP and uh, got it. Good socket. Okay. There are many yeah. advantages in, by the way, in Playwright. Like it, it, it records videos. It, it. Use a nice trace and it tests on the underlying technology like chromium uh, not on the direct chrome right these are all advantages by the way i mean altogether they are played advantages these are all few advantages okay 
we'll talk about them as well while we discuss in the play right okay yes i think that's all i have today any other questions apart from this so uh, what are like uh, uh, i mean during framework uh, we generally mm -hmm. prefer uh, data and all using json right so that's how this will be right uh, can you please repeat that no um, i mean when we are creating framework mm -hmm. the test data and all will be under json files mm -hmm. so yeah 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 even, yeah even your framework will do the same thing right oh yeah json uh, that's what that's one of the good advantage of uh, java <laughs> and uh, javascript right uh, in java uh, example if you want to read uh, any json file you need to write a pojo clause or well, even minimum 10 to 15 lines of code you need to write in in uh, javascript especially javascript not playwright uh, even you know definitely on top of uh, javascript is playwright also benefit out of it. javascript takes one line of code to load the json you can use json after that line of code it's that much easy yeah we will deal with json's by the way test data okay. will be json's and csv files both okay thank you basically uh, the locators will be part of json in the framework and test data will be managed through csv files and excel files so that you can read it however after reading uh, one line it will come the response is json only okay and also in our company now current um, uh, framework as i was telling you they have used custom um, methods instead of inbuilt methods of uh, play right or cypress whatever it is so that mm. that is really advanced right custom methods i need to understand more but you know I mean, see, for, clicking, uh, for example for clicking anything instead of using dot click uh, they have uh, written their own uh, ah, yeah. see, what method. They, is, uh, they are what calling they will, yeah they will internally call this dot click only okay oh, uh, okay okay then generally they are i know what is framework right they will write one method uh, and internally they will wait for that particular locator and they will click they will write the same method only they, this this line of statement only if you go in deeper maybe while writing the uh, scripts you do you use that framework method right but when you go into the framework methods it will be used this method only however uh, i don't suggest to write more methods in playwright because playwright itself come with the framework so if i oh. if i write some framework for click like this right i'm compromising on other framework method that is given by playwright i mean uh, page dot locator is one of the framework uh, that is given that and page dot get by id is one of the one they given page by get type by link text they only given right if i write frame i need to write framework means i need to write methods for all of them again the wrapper again which doesn't make sense right is a redundant code so that is one of the biggest yeah, advantages that's what between... even i was thinking yeah yeah that is one of the biggest advantages between selenium and playwright play selenium you need to invest on in writing the framework again because it doesn't come of the framework it it, it come with a plain one you write a driver dot find element uh, it may fail if it is not found the first first site it will do internal retest but it will fail but when I use this page dot locator, page dot locator means it will wait until uh, until when I say until if it is loaded in one second, it will go forward. It won't. Uh, we need no need to write the wait statements again uh, in playwright. It is inbuilt wait methods, right? Right. So that uh, that framework investment is not required in playwright, where other companies like using Selenium has to invest. That means another another set of developers has to be there. That is one area that player is already upgraded uh, where code gen is also been used right to generate the code so you can see there uh, they can, you can use that code directly in your uh, in your framework however uh, we need to use page object model to reduce the uh, code usability code redundant that means if you record and play back the same script uh, the same statement may record for all the scripts huh? instead you can use page object model that's a pattern or design you write your actions over there using the same uh, playwright uh, methods and you can use that function in other area as well right to optimize the coding so don't confuse between 
model and the framework i mean model is part of framework by the way but uh, some few people are investing on playwright also to write some more uh, methods on top of it like clef uh, seridum uh, I'm, I'm i'm seeing that and, and my company also did that and we said hey not required now because playwright itself come with a framework right and cypress also cypress comes with the framework however we invest on page object model big to to make it very organized way make sense okay yeah. yes kumar and last uh, last question even they are following some design pattern like mm -hmm. fecad and other things but there is no difference uh, just another class is getting increased i don't understand yeah. why they are doing so that design is, a, pattern. That is, is it really required or form is enough form is definitely required but uh, Sorry, I didn't. I get confused. What is that uh, form? No, what I'm form. saying form. is, form. along form. with form, oh, okay. yeah, form. page object module. Yeah, Model what I understood is page object module is enough actually. But mm -hmm. apart from that, they are using some other design pattern. For example, facade uh, oh, builder okay. single okay. time. But I'm not sure really it is required. When I went to the code. I can just see the difference is uh, some other classes are getting increased. Again, they are calling to page object module classes itself. Why, if that is the case, why the use of design pattern is my question. No, no. Uh, so that depends upon application architecture. If your application is simple enough, I recommend POM. Okay. But okay. if your application has a wide number of uh, modules and it's a SaaS application, you know, sometimes uh, uh example right one client the the design is different other client the design is different uh, right then they they may introduce this kind of interfaces in the things and they implement different you know uh, for different clients different uh, implementation classes will come and single tones will also come like you know uh, just get run setters will be there where you need to call things these are all design patterns, mm -hmm. but because those are there, we need to we no need to use. It has to be demand in your application. Then we can make hook up it. You got okay. my point, right? Understood. Yes, yeah. yes. Got it. Thank you.